lovely T tried to go live two or three days ago and her video was flagged. Hey you guys, so I'm about to go on my channel and live stream. So if you want to come and sit with me, come on through. I'm going to go live at 8.30 tonight. It was flagged to the point that she had to try to live stream about eight times. Neither times worked. So then after that, she just hopped off YouTube and got on Instagram Live just to, you know, further explain what happened and to apologize to her subscribers, her tea sippers, you know. It's freaking crazy out here. And when I seen that, because at first I've been like noticing a whole bunch of beef in the YouTube streets for the longest time. And I said, unlike other channels, I don't want to address it because I don't want my channel to be based off of any other YouTubers because I'm especially like bigger YouTubers. I know how they feel when small YouTube channels try to talk about them. They feel like, oh, you just doing it to clap clout chase and stuff but I feel like I have an opinion and it's okay for me to share my opinion so I can talk about it how I feel in this one video and just watching the cyberbullying that has been going on it's just I was just like you know what I'm tired of it I'm gonna say something because something has to be said this whole lovely T Tasha K beef has started when um, Tasha K had interviewed Star Marie. It started off with lovely T reporting on the Star Marie thing when Star Marie dropped her video with her walking outside claiming she knew Cardi B and all this other stuff. Well, anyway, Tasha K actually got an interview with Star Marie. Star Marie was saying some things, some about cardi b saying how she possibly had herpes all this other stuff and lovely t basically caught on that she was lying so lovely t did a video basically saying that star marie was lying one thing led to another now we're here where lovely t and tasha k have been beefing ever since and i've also i've seen that tasha k will would um say things about lovely t lovely t wouldn't say anything recently they were on lioness of judah lioness of judah had like a pajama party and um tasha k lovely t malibu doll face they all hopped on the phone on live and they were going at it with each other got on the phone well on, well if yeah I guess you could say on the phone when they first got on this live I was thinking to myself yes finally maybe they can call truce maybe like if they can't even be friends maybe they can just be like frenemies and just don't talk to each other don't I mean not yeah don't talk to each other don't talk about each other just lovely T do her comment Tasha K do her content whatever and call it a day nobody speaks on nobody nobody brings nobody up let's leave all this negative stuff in the past but the whole time it was like a screaming match it was basically like no i wasn't talking about you or i didn't tell him to say anything about you all this stuff and then like it was like everything that they were saying was hitting a brick wall when it came to Tasha K's side because she wasn't having it. It's like she know, she knew what she know, okay? She know what she know. You ain't gonna tell her that she don't know because she know that you told him to say that about her. She know you saying that it didn't happen that way, but it did. It seemed like Tasha K is that type of person. Like once she feel like you trying to be funny 
or anything, you can't convince her otherwise because why the hell would she lie to herself? It seemed like she's that type of person. And it's sad, you know, that these grown tail women, all of us is grown on here. From Lovely T to Tasha K to Sweet Ma to Mona Simone, all these people that are on YouTube beefing, we're all grown at the end of the day. And we don't do anything but hop on YouTube. Okay, and make content. Like, why are we arguing? I don't understand. Like, okay, if Tasha K felt like Star Marie was telling the truth, and if Lovely T felt like Star Marie wasn't telling the truth, then is that really something to sit here and argue about so many months later? I don't think so. And the whole time during the live stream, all you heard was um Tasha K bring up Cardi B, Tasha K bring up Car- Cardi B constantly, which I don't know. It makes me feel like it's more. Like, it's more to this than what's being said. Because if I had a friend that I was cool with and it's like a misunderstanding like this, we would talk about it and let it be called a day. But it seems like it's no talking about this. Like, to calling somebody a codeine fiend knowing that this girl got sickle cell and that's another thing when lovely t gets too stressed out from her um illness she gets sick and i feel like that's i mean as demonic as it sound i feel like that is one of the reasons why tasha k kept bringing the situation up even though lovely t wasn't saying anything i feel like that's one of the reasons why tasha k kept bringing the situation up was because she wanted lovely t to get stressed out to the point that she do get sick and she don't get online on youtube so she could take a break off youtube like, I, I honestly feel that because if I know that somebody stress hurts somebody and makes them sick, makes them get into the hospital or whatever, then why would I get online and constantly bring up old stuff, stuff that the other person ain't even talking about? They're trying to move on with their life and I'm still talking about something that happened so long ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm calling them codeine fiend, even though I know about their sickness, like, I like I honestly feel like it's being done so lovely T can get sick and so that she stay off of YouTube, you know, and it's enough room on this platform for everybody. Everybody has room on this platform like it's room for so many gossip bloggers. All we do, bruh, is talk about people. It's not that serious. None of us is going to end up being the next Wendy Williams, okay? Like, let's just keep it 100. Ain't none of us getting no dang on TV show, okay? No, as bad as we might want it, Wendy Williams ain't going nowhere. And as long as Wendy Williams is still in the game, they not about to give nobody else another gossip TV show. So, with that being said, we're just YouTubers. It's enough room on this platform for everybody. You don't have to cyber bully anybody off this platform. It's so many people that is taking their own lives due to cyber bullying. Like... This um 16-year-old girl that took her life a couple of months ago named Ashley Lovelace took her life out of nowhere. Everybody was confused. And what was so sad about that situation is she was a gorgeous girl. And nobody knew that she had cut marks on her arm until after she passed away. That's when everybody realized that she was cutting herself. You know, she had the marks on her arm. Cyberbullying is a serious thing. Y'all are too grown to be sitting here flagging somebody video that y'all don't know. That personally didn't do anything to y'all. Y'all act like the girl stole money from y'all or something. Y'all act like this girl then had sex with y'all man or with y'all baby daddy or something. Like, she's just a content creator. Tasha K is just a content creator. None of these people is donating y'all any money. Y'all sitting here, y'all probably having problems paying y'all bills getting your car fixed whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying do you think do you see these people giving y'all money paying y'all bills 
paying for child care, all this other stuff for your kids, helping you take care of your kids or anything like that? No. Do you see these people like trying to build Black Wall Street all over again? No. These people just get online and talk crap about celebrities. Just like me, you know? And y'all riding so hard for these people. What is wrong with y'all? Like, y'all are literally... Y'all are literally some followers like i knew that they made that term on twitter and on instagram followers how many followers do you have all this stuff but y'all literally some damn flop followers like it's hilarious it's hilarious but at again at the same time it's sad and the only reason why i'm talking about this is only for the simple fact that when i was watching lovely t's instagram live stream she said if i go you know Basically, y'all gonna be looking stupid or y'all gonna be feeling sorry or whatever. But just the term of if I go. And I don't know if Shadi was talking about taking her own life or maybe she was saying that she's stressed. You know, the stress is killing her because of her illness that, you know, if it takes her out, you know, y'all gonna, you know, y'all gonna be sorry. Or, I don't know. Like, that's how I took it. And that's when I was like, you know what? It's, it, I'm going to say something like you might not even see this video because I'm a small YouTuber and YouTube don't really promote my videos like that. But I mean, if I don't put the video out, then like, I feel like that's something that I need to do that I need to speak up and I need to say that cyberbullying is wrong. It's so many things that's going on in, t- in this world right now that y'all could be using y'all platforms for, you know, real life issues, issues that is going on. Y'all could be talking about. Even on y'all platforms, the ones that don't even make content, but you got time to sit here and flag somebody else's live stream. Y'all can even be making content, doing something with yourselves, you know, making videos about things that's actually happening in this world or, you know, making just anything. But you'd rather sit here and flag somebody videos for what? Like, and you'd rather sit here and cyber bully somebody for what? Like, you'd rather sit here on YouTube every day beefing with other YouTubers for what? Like, what is this? Like, it's becoming to the point that it's draining. It's draining for even me. Like, I try not to speak on it. I try to just stick to, you know gossiping about celebrities and things like that because a lot of other channels like impressive layla lynn you know i see that they don't really address youtube stuff you know other youtubers and i got respect for them for that but when it comes to like suicide and cyberbullying and all this other stuff i'm sensitive to it you know and I, I i have to say something i have to at least make one video about it and say something about how wrong it is it's freaking wrong and y'all really need to do something with y'all selves because it's it's starting to not to make sense to me at all and i'm honestly feeling like somebody jealous of somebody Somebody is jealous of somebody. It has to be more than this Star Marie stuff. It has to be more about Cardi B. You know, it's more to it. And I'm not saying Tasha K jealous of Lovely T or Lovely T is jealous of Tasha K. I don't know who jealous of who. I just know jealousy is somewhere in the mix of this, this ingredient right here. Jealousy is in the mix of it, okay? And it just needs to stop. It just needs to stop, you know. I've realized that every time Lovely T, like the time where she was somewhere, she was invited to like a celebrity thing. And she was saying things like, this is what happens when you don't address stuff. And when you just shut up and you eat your food. Or when you're just silent, you know, you can get invited to things like this. I realized the slick shade that she kept pushing towards Tasha K. Even though like she never addressed Tasha K, I just could i could i i picked up the shade that she always you know throw and like you don't have to do all that like forget her and with tasha k forget lovely t like you don't have to sit here and release phone calls you don't have to sit here and upload videos to another channel You don't have to do all that, bruh. What happened, happened. Let it go. It's not that serious. At the end of the day, Lovely T still got her platform. You still got your platform. 
it's enough room on YouTube for everybody to eat. You got kids on this platform that's making millions playing with toys. You know, like, it, it obviously YouTube got enough money. So you don't have to sit here and take each other out. None of y'all get no dang on TV show. Not on TV, no way. Maybe like digitally somewhere, but not on TV. Nobody's being the next Wendy Williams. So I don't like, <laughs> yeah, just hang that up, bro. Just wanted to send some words of encouragement. Y'all stay focused. Y'all keep working hard. Believe in yourself. Prove everybody that doubts y'all wrong. Show up every day. Stay pure. Keep your heart pure. pure. Stay motivated. Stay inspired. Show love to your people from Nip Hustle.